and uh, hello okay so I think this is what we're gonna do do not break rusty we trust you in rusty we trust hey all right do not want to hit that marula but you'll be able to see one of the cubs suckling from where you are just let me know when can you see them there Seems like after match anticipation, we managed to get here. <laughs> what? What is not that great? <laughs> Dylan, you've been spoiled. <laughs> How cute are they? Hello. Ah, so this has this is one of the smaller ones. He's just busy suckling. I'm sure he's also on to meet now, and that's why. Um, all the mothers have got the little ones around here. I can count three cubs, two of the smaller ones, and I'm sure there's got to be a fourth one somewhere around, but unfortunately it's just around too, oh, oh, around too many trees, so it's hard to tell. And I can count, I think, three females? How many did you manage to count? I just don't know if that at the back that I'm seeing is a log or another lion. But it seems like they managed to bring down a, a water buck during the night and they've just be busy they've been busy feeding on it and I'm sure the little ones are just enjoying some really nice wonderful mother time. Oh isn't that precious? Properly asleep. Hmm. I think the ones at the back are just uh, just starting to play and there's the kill over there so you see well tucked away underneath the trees just to make sure that they can hide it away from you know any possible predators any vultures that might start flying around it doesn't seem like there's much left I don't know if is there a lot of the kill left yep. is there a lot of the kill left because I can't see much from here okay not much all right Brian, I believe you'd like to know if they have names. If I'm mistaken, Alice, please do correct me. But um, no, they they don't have names as far as I know. When do they name them? Hmm, it varies depending on every lodge. Normally, they it's some areas don't name them at all. Some areas just you know they'll be part of a of a pride if they're females, and you know if they're the girls stay around, they'll be part of the sticks pride. Not necessarily will they have a name. And in some other areas, for example, if it's males and they form a coalition and eventually they survive into adulthood, then sometimes that's when people like naming them once they've once they've made it, let's say, into the real world. So I don't think these cubs are gonna be named anytime soon. A lot of the times people just don't like naming them just in case they jinx them because they wanna <laughs> one of the ranger superstitions is that if you name a cub before it gets into adulthood, it might not make it. It's got absolutely no scientific value <laughs> and it's, you know, just one of those things that gets said around here. But having said that, I mean, I don't think it does, it necessarily affects them or gives them a better or a worse chance. But this one's over here, still not named. They're just, you know, the, the sticks cubs for the time being. And I'm sure for the next few months, that's exactly how we're going to know them as. If we do get to see them again, which I'm excited that we are because they're so tiny and fluffy and pretty. I would say maybe about half the size of the Ankahumas. Nikki, the ears, I know, aren't they just super cute? So small and you know, it's almost like they're black. It's still starting to pop by. I think they're all pretty tired and sleepy. They're all just warming up right nicely next to their mothers. And it's just a very, very precious setting. I mean, look at that. Isn't that kind of like the pure proof of happiness? You know, it's got its mom, it's eaten, it's warm. I'm pretty sure this is lion cub heaven. So sweet, so, so sweet. I am sure, however, that as the sun starts going out, likely they're gonna move a bit further into the drainage line or just underneath the bushes of the tree where we 
almost saw that other lioness just because where they are there's no big tree so they're not going to have a lot of shade throughout the day so while the cubs might be able to get away with a bit of shade oh look at that oh my goodness isn't that just gorgeous Yeah, the stick cubs are, I think the Enkuhumas, to be quite honest, are some of the best looking cubs I have ever seen. I really don't know how that pride has managed, it's just, you know, proof that those girls are doing a stunning job. But these little ones, they're looking quite healthy as well, don't get me wrong. They're, they're still smaller and they're not maybe as, you know, precious as the Enkuhuma ones. But from what I can see from here, they all look quite healthy. Oh, there's a fourth cub there at the back, another tiny one. And they all seem to be doing just fine. So I think we've also been spoiled with the Enkuhumas, but these guys, they seem to be fine. Maybe, you know, they just need better genetics. <laughs> Look at that. Look how precious they are. <laughs> 